Hey guys, Augie Sanjian and welcome to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you may be in the world. And in this video I want to share with you guys bracelets as it is the new big thing that we got with the barrel update. It gives you a lot of damage and don't overlook them. But they might be a little bit confusing in the beginning because there's so many options and ways they can roll and it's just a lot of information. I do have some documents over here that I'm going to share with you guys. And we're just going to talk about bracelets in this video so you guys are interested in finding out all the nitty gritty stuff about bracelets. This is the place to be. Also, before we get into that, if you guys could go ahead and smash that sub button, I'd really appreciate it. We're so close to 3k subscribers. Try and hit that before the end of the year. You guys are awesome. And with that out the way, let's just hop straight into the video now, shall we? These are bracelets. They go in over there, the new bracelet slot. And they can roll many, many different ways. They do cost Fions and yeah. It's the new RNG Gold Sink. There's this little person over here. If you come to any of the main cities, you can see their little icon, their bracelet specialist. So you come here and then you roll them. That one there has one time left. That one has four times left. But we'll get to, into all of this in a second. You can actually look through all the stuff here yourself as well. As you can see, that is a lot of stuff to roll on this. Every time you click there, grant bonus, it has a chance to roll any of these. So now you understand why this is such a RNG gold sink. It's quite, quite bad. So let me just show you guys this document of here. Shout out to Ayu lol. This document is all his, all the stuff belongs to him. I'm just using it to reference there. It has a really good video about 40 minutes long on his channel. I'll link that all down below for you guys. If you guys want to know exactly everything there is to know about bracelets. He covers it extensively in his video. I'm just going to use his sheet for a little bit of reference. And I'm going to give you guys the basic like TLDR of it real quick. And stuff like that. Just so you guys can know what to look for. And then there is as well this document over here that has been translated by IU from Memorizer. So shout out to all of them. All their links will be down below in the description for you guys. This is like a tier list and it's pretty much got the English names over here. I think some of them might be a little bit different, but he has mostly translated all of this to the English version. The tier list pretty much. So there's S tier are these over there. So if you can look out for these names, Circulate, Fervor and Hammer, you guys know to keep those on your bracelets. And then you obviously you do get different rolls as well because you can roll the effect, but then it has three different levels as well. So low, mid or high. And there it shows you guys exactly so there, for example, skill damage 2.5 is the low roll, 3% is the mid roll, and 3.5 is the high roll. So I'll leave this tier list for you guys there, but we're mainly going to focus on this one for now. So bracelets, unlock at 1490, big source of damage utility, can be an infinite gold sink, RNG based like ability stones, and bracelets drop from various effects on them. You can lock effects that you want to keep and reroll on the bracelet, and you can reroll up to four times using silver. So what I'll show you guys in game. This one I haven't rolled at all yet. I got one this morning in the Chaos Dungeon. And that's another thing you can get these from the new 1490 Chaos Dungeons and up. And the Catalyligos Raid as well. The uh, Guardian Raid. And then as well from Braushaza. I got most of mine from Caligos. And I think I got one or two from Chaos Dungeons. The drop trance seems pretty like every two to three Chaos Dungeons I'd say on all my 1490s I have gotten one. So it's not too bad but it's not like they throw them at you like candy. But they are there. That's how you get them. So let's have a look at this one. We've got Swiftness, Vitality. This is a three liner. You can get up to four lines. I don't have any on me right now, but I do have one in the auction house. I want to show you guys. Uh, where is it registered? I have one up there right now, as you can see, for 200k. Hopefully that sells today. But uh, this is a four liner. It's grit spec. And then it's got the two options to roll at the bottom. And every time you roll these, let me show you guys how it works. So this one I'm actually wanting to roll to replace my current one because swiftness is good for me. So I go grand bonus. This has only got three lines on it. The first two are locked. So that game with it, I can't do anything. A drop like this. But now I go ahead and grant bonus. And also it does become untradeable once you start granting it. So it binds it to you. Revival. So that one is pretty bad. It does cost a lot of silver as well. So I shouldn't really spend too much on this. It's not an amazing bracelet at all. But we're just going to go for it. Maybe we get lucky over here for you guys. Well, we got an emergency transfusion. That one is pretty bad as well. It's just healing stuff. So I'll go another one. And then what do we get? Int 1650. So I was hoping to get crit because getting two mains or two off stats is really, really good on there. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. And that's 72k silver at the end. I wouldn't recommend rolling it unless it's really, really good and you guys actually want it. If it's like got two main, uh, two substats at the top already. So if this was like swiftness and crit, 
then I would go ahead and roll it again just to see if I could get something but uh, yeah I'm gonna just keep it with that vitality for now on the int because 72k silver that's a lot of silver if you think about it that's one character running a low ping because you get 25k silver from each low ping and they do three low pings a day if you did the low ping on that tier 3 alt 25 50 is like 75k silver from one low ping alt so that's one low ping complete daily if you want to re-roll the last one on the bracelet so it does get pretty costly on the silver so keep that in mind as well you don't want to go blow these all and if they don't roll good keep rolling them if they don't roll good by the third time just leave them there use them as they are but now i can show you guys a good example of which one is better because you see this is the one i have right now i've got int 2700 i got swiftness at 96 that's almost 100 that's a pretty high roll and but it, that only technically has my main stat int so it gives me a little bit of attack power but then what it does it doesn't have two off stats these are called your off stats pretty much so crit spec swift and all that stuff it's really really good and beneficial for you to just use these as stat sticks pretty much so you want to get two of your off stats so like spec crit or in my case crit swift i was hoping to get that, that on that one there that i was rolling for you guys but it didn't happen so yeah that's the long and the short on those and then obviously if you are trying to min max your bracelets you'll have to go through all of this and it really covers everything for you guys you see there it tells you how the bracelets work so if we come all the way down substats one crit equals that percent of crit rate so that's like it shows you the exact numbers the spec there as well tldr there's the swiftness uh, values and the dps increase so as you can see there at a high level of swift if you jump that 100 swiftness you can obviously roll 100 swiftness on these that's a 3.5 percent damage increase for 100 swift gain as well there at the lower level it's a little bit less obviously because you have less swift overall so this is a 100 swift increase but it's only from 550 to 650 so at that point it's a 2.495 percent increase instead of the 3.5 at the higher levels because obviously the more you have the more valuable it gets to a point take away there you need two lines of stat on your bracelet a mid-level str option is around 3.5 percent damage equivalent to 100 stat but much harder to roll so what they mean by that is one of these so mid tier s would be this one over there fervor over there hammer over there so landing one of these is equal to about 100 of your stat that you want in your bracelet but landing these is much much lower chance as we'll get to the chances a little bit lower down i'll show you guys the chances to actually roll these so there's the workaround for spec and everything it is a little bit different per class obviously shadow hunters and igniter stalks and stuff like that all scale differently with spec and uh what do you call it blades as well i know blades probably has one of the best spec scaling surge blades so that you can read through all that there for reaper as well so stat probability he has the probability of rolling stuff so probability of getting an additional option is more or less 10 percent based on data and then the 10 percent of that 10 percent the probability of getting a low s tier is 60 percent so it's 10 percent to get the roll and then out of that 10 percent 60 percent will be a low tier and then again for mid tier it's 30 percent and then for high tier but on s obviously it's 10 percent so first of all you have got to get that 10 percent to roll a line that is s tier and then you've got to get another 10 percent for it to actually roll the s the high tier of the s version so what i mean by that is a vf so circulate over there high that's like a 10 percent and then another 10 percent in that 10 percent so i can't even math right now but that's really really rare and that one as well and that one as well we go back to the ak1 percent chance to get a higher tier option but even among options you have good and bad ones yeah this is going over all of this stuff over there secret rate i'm not going to cover everything because this will be a 40 minute video and that's why iu has got his up there for you guys to go through he explains it completely i'm just covering the basics for you guys so example a bracelet has 100 swift versus a bracelet with a b bracelet b has low level circulate which one is better if you are a crit flux or 100 swift equals 3.5 percent damage low level circulate equals 3.1 percent damage uh, first intent entropy war dancer 100 swift equals 3.5 damage but low level circulate equals 3.14 damage and circulate over there is one of the see this is one of the s tier options so getting a low tier circulate is 3.14 damage it's really close to the 100 stat but the chance in getting that is so low as you've seen above with the probabilities so that's why you want to try and aim for your two stats try and get them as high as you can i think you can roll 100 on each of them if i'm not mistaken let's go have a look real quick swiftness spec see that one over there is a double stat so that one i'm saving for my igniter 
But if we go there, swiftness, and then let's change this one to spec. Uh, combat stat. We'll go spec. And then we'll put these at like 90, 90. See if we can roll that high. So it is possible for them to roll close to 100. I believe 100 is the cap on that. So they could actually roll 100. But yeah, that's really, really expensive. So for now, you just really want to try and get something with a double stat. Let's say 70, 70 for now. You see, it's a lot cheaper. 70, 70. And then you still have that other chance as well. There's an 80, 70. So they do go up quite substantially in price. But you guys could easily snipe them. Just check every now and then. Maybe let's just drop it to 65. That's still pretty decent. And there's one there for 20k. So spec swiftness or probably spec crit will probably be a lot more expensive, which is what most people will be going after. But there, yeah, so as you can see, it's quite a little bit more expensive. But the two stats is a lot more easier to get those two stats. And then it's just easier to have the extra damage because getting that it's not exactly the hundreds, it won't be the 3.5% damage, but it is in both stats. So say you get like 2.8% damage from one of these, since they're not 100, that's 2.8, and then another 2.8, it's close to, a, what's that, just over 5% damage increase. And it's not that much gold, I mean it's quite a bit of gold, but yeah, for like 6% damage increase on your big damage already, so if you're like 15, 20 plus or whatever like that, and you're doing a lot of damage, 6% is a lot of damage to your a lot of damage, if you know what I mean. So that is really all of it. Try and get two stats and then have a look at this tier list if you maybe get lucky on one of these S tier rolls over here. So Circulate, Fervor or Hammer is really good. I know there is something with uh, Mayhem Zerker. Because one of these is when your HP is, if your HP is above 40%, yeah, so Fervor does nothing for Mayhem Zerker. But then there is another one somewhere down below. I can't, it does pretty much the same thing, but in reverse. So when your HP is under 40%, which obviously is Mayhem Zerka all the time. So further becomes E tier, and then whatever the replacement one is becomes S tier. Only for Mayhem Zerka in that case. And what else have we got? Yeah, this is just some more min maxing, really going in depth about everything. There's all the options. And yeah, a lot of work has been put into this guy. So if you really want to go read through all of this min maxing, and there's another one over there, just your the roll on the the main stat, so strength x int, you get a low roll between 2500 and 37. It will stop at 37 because that's obviously where the mid goes then above that. So low roll will be considered anything above that, and then that's a mid roll and a high roll. And there's the percentages increase all plus 20. So as you can see. Brace the damage summary. What's this? This is all the little ones put together. Keen blunt weapon plus nightmare and 80% crit. So that would be the increase over there if you had hammer plus wedge. Circulate further. It's quite a lot of math in there. And what else we got? What should I work on? Brace it. So when should you work on brace it? They recommend doing it once you get to plus 20 a brow gear. So 1590. That could be quite a while away. I would start working on it probably at least, you know, nothing sooner than that. Or maybe. Once we actually go through and beat Brawl now and you've honed up your, all your new Brawl pieces ready for hard Brawl, then you can really start pumping gold into your bracelets. I myself, I'm just going to try and get a double liner. So, you know, with a uh, crit swiftness for my crit, crit block sock and then obviously crit spec for my igniter sock. I'm not going to worry too much about getting that super S tier one. As long as I get really close to 100 stat on both of them, I'll be happy with that. So for the time being, I'm just going to use what I find. So in the end, all depends on market, cheap, yeah. So there's a lot of information. Hopefully that has covered a little bit of stuff for you guys and I made it a little bit easier to understand just the basics. As you can see, this is probably really a long video already, but there's so much stuff to talk about with bracelets, it's insane. So go through that list, have a read through that document there from IU and Memorizer and the other Korean guy. I forget his name, but it is listed in the document. So shout out to all of them. Really appreciate everything you guys do for the community and giving us all these numbers that I just don't have time to make up myself. Well, not make up, but uh, figure out. His name is somewhere in the document over there. Shout out to him and everyone else that put all the work into this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found the video helpful, please drop a like and a sub. It helps me out so much, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Okay, say it now. Run free and dive into the sky. Here the wind, crying